Bali Prison Escape reenacted by captured Karobakan prisoners Police in Bali have held a reenactment of the escape of four prisoners as they continue the search for two inmates, including an Australian man. Key points two captured inmates were directed to reenact 30 scenes in the jail and elsewhere crime reconstructions are common in Indonesia Australian man Sean Davidson and Malaysian Teacock King remain on the run reconstructions of crimes are common in Indonesia with offenders directed by police to act in so-called scenes. The two inmates who were recaptured in East Timor, Indian man Syed Mohammed said and Bulgarian man Dimitar Nikolov, were made to walk through the moments before and during their escape from Karobakan prison. Police confirmed there would be 30 scenes, with five in the jail and the rest at other locations including the international airport where an ex-prisoner had bought the escapee's plane tickets. 200 police, jail officials and inmates were part of the reenactment. Photo, prisoner Syed Mohammed said shows officials the entrance to an escape tunnel. Ambrose Bully, from Block D they climbed to the roof and went outside and came down and they dug a hole behind the clinic, police superintendent Ruddy Setiawan said. They cleared out the water out of the hole. It was raining at the time. Police said the men had escaped from their cells at 10 p.m. and were out of the prison by 2.30 a.m. the next morning. After they got out of prison they changed clothes that they had brought from inside jail, Inspector Setiawan said. Behind prison walls for the first time ever a film crew was granted full access to Karobakan Jail, which sits in the center of Bali's tourist mecca. Australian man Sean Davidson and Malaysian Teacock King remain on the run, more than three weeks since the brazen escape. Davidson had only a few months left to serve of his one year sentence for using another person's passport, but is also facing charges in Perth. The four inmates escape by using an old drain and a 15 meter long tunnel, which is also believed to have been used to traffic drugs in and out of the prison. Karobakan was built in the late 1970s to hold around 300 prisoners but now has more than 1,300 male inmates. The ABC's foreign correspondent program recently filmed for more than a week in the overcrowded facility, which is also home to Matthew Norman and C. Yi Chen, both members of the so called Bali 9. Photo, Syed Mohammed said, Front and Dimitar Nikolov, back, in Bali's airport during the reenactment. Ambrose Bali, 